Are you an agent that wants to gain valuable knowledge in the world of short sales? In today's video, I'm going to explain four questions you should be asking a buyer's agent before your seller signs a short sale offer. My name is Heather. Welcome to my channel, Blueprint Short Sales. I'm thrilled to embark on this exciting journey with you. Whether you are a seasoned agent or a rookie seeking a niche or a way to expand your business into listings, you've arrived at the perfect destination. Prepare to be exhilarated by a journey that, if embraced wholeheartedly, will take your business to new heights. At Blueprint Short Sales, our mission is simple help 10,000 families avoid foreclosure. However, we cannot accomplish this monumental task without the invaluable assistance of compassionate, dedicated agents like yourself. Our objective is to empower you in achieving long-term financial success, all while making a profound positive impact on the clients and communities you serve. So the question remains, are you ready to take the leap? Let's dive in together and explore the possibilities. Question number one, are your buyers willing to wait? Now, why is that so important? Well, short sale does not mean short time frame. Short sale means that the bank is being shorted in the amount that is owed. So the reason why we ask the question, are your buyers willing to wait? It's because a short sale does take time. I would say in general, three to six months. This ultimately depends on the end investor, but it is very, very important that the buyer is willing to wait. Question number two, is your buyer willing to negotiate with the bank? So ultimately your sellers are on the title of the property and must cooperate throughout the short sale process. So they sign an offer, but in the end, it is always going to be up to their bank. The bank may counter, the bank may just accept the offer. So it's always good to know, hey, is your buyer willing to negotiate if the bank does make a counter offer, because you really don't want to waste your time. Number three, is your buyer willing to get the inspection done prior to us submitting the short sale offer packet? Now, why do I do it that way? Well, in a short sale situation, the properties are sold as is, and the bank is not going to give any repair credit. So I advise any listing agent who is handling a short sale to make sure the buyer will do the home inspection if they're planning to have one before the bank gets the offer. Why? Well, they could always adjust the price, the offer if they had to, but again, in the end, it's always gonna be up to the bank. But once you get the short sale approved, you wanna make sure, hey, we're not gonna have to go through inspection and we can move straight to closing. So I highly, highly recommend that be a part of your rules. I did not implement that at the beginning of my career and it definitely brought on a lot of headaches. Okay, before I get to the fourth and final question you should be asking these buyer's agents before your seller signs a short sale offer, please like this video and at the bottom, subscribe to my channel and please comment if you have any questions. All right, the final question you should be asking these buyer's agents is, are any parties related? So that may not be um, as evident with the contract, but you do still want to ask because a short sale must be an arm's length transaction, period. No parties can be related. So if the buyer's agent is related to the buyer, no, can't happen. Buyer cannot be related to the seller. Um, and most importantly, you as the listing agent also cannot be related to the seller or any parties. So it's really good to know that upfront. Just ask, especially if they have the same last name, because it will not go through 
as a short sale because again, it has to be an arm's length transaction. Alrighty folks, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you walk away feeling inspired, motivated, and armed with new strategies. Remember, at the end of the day, this journey is more about just closing deals. It's about a making a positive impact on the lives of the clients and communities you service. Please approach every interaction with integrity, empathy, and a genuine desire to help others. If you've enjoyed this video, please spread the love and share. Until next time, keep hustling, keep learning, and never stop striving for greatness. This is Heather with Blueprint Short Sales. Bye.